Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to cover some of the biggest shoe trends for this spring. Shoes that you will see everybody wearing and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite and some of my own personal collection and mention a few other ones that are definitely gonna be around. I just don't know how I feel about them. So let's get to it. The first one are strappy heels. This is something that is coming back and I'm surprised that it's coming back this soon because I feel like it was really really happening maybe like two years ago I literally remember buying so many strappy heels and I gave all of them away so I won't be joining this trend because I won't be repurchasing that but I do still have my Stuart Weitzman strappy really delicate heel that I think is a staple for everyone to have so I'll be using those as my strappy sexy heel these are a great way to incorporate into an outfit to make it cooler with a pair of jeans with skirts with dresses they're pretty versatile this strappy heel this season is definitely a little more tasteful and chicer than what you've seen before. I'm gonna link some of my favorite styles that I found online, affordable ones. There's ones that everyone is gushing over from Zara. So putting it out there. The next pair that you'll see quite a bit that also made a huge comeback is ballerina flats. Now, although the ballerina flats, again, have been around for so, so long, we have a little different nuance on it. This is kind of a new look for the ballet flat. So these are from Mango. This ballet flat is a little bit different than the classic one that you used to see that are usually more round shaped. This one has a little more kind of updated, edgier look. I would actually take out the bow from this one. I wonder if I can do a little DIY. These are great to bring a little more of a grown-up look and not so childish which sometimes happens with the round ballerina flat and if you're going to your office wearing kind of business casual looks these will be great and really comfortable this bow really bothers me I want to take it out some of my favorites are from the row uh, they just have like a more avant-garde kind of cool look to them not so sweet and girly I think that this should be in everyone's closets the next pair of shoes that you see a lot this spring and I'm so happy that this is still around I'm never gonna get rid of these are sneakers now I will keep wearing the white clean look sneakers until the day I die there is quite a bit of trend for this spring with really colorful different shapes and symbols on them I'm really happy that those chunky ones like that sneakers are kind of getting out which I'm really happy about if you bought a pair I'm sorry but if you love it that's great for you but I am still super obsessed with my white sneakers I wear them with everything everywhere from a suit to a dress to a skirt to jeans you name it so sneakers are still going really really hard you will notice that there's a lot of chunkier ones not as chunky as we saw with those dad sneakers but have a little more weight to them so for me my favorites for those will be the Nike one Air Force one these are kind of a staple that I feel like just when you want to look a little cooler like these are more kind of dainty and clean where these can give a little more kind of platform to the look a little more to it if that makes sense just keeping it nice and simple to make sure that I don't buy things that I won't wear the next category are the mules Ta-da! and there's a few different versions under this category the first one is this kitten heel and let me tell you I cannot believe we are back so fast to the kitten heel I remember my mother I think less than 10 years ago no I'm lying maybe more than 10 years ago rocking these and she had some really great ones I wish she kept them what can you do I would say the classic look people are trying to achieve are the Manolo Blahnik ones which look amazing super expensive but amazing otherwise you see a lot of great versions like this Senso one that I wear with jeans and like a blouse or even jeans and sweater you can also wear them with like a suit just to make it a little more chic this is happening and you see me wearing this a lot the next version of a slide on that is still happening and still you'll see quite a bit are these I thought they're cold mules but apparently they're not so slide ons this is the classic kind of Gucci that I got I think like two years ago and I still wear it 
all the time this is a really classic kind of shoe to have and i'm really happy that i splurge on these you still will see them around they're not going anywhere there's a lot of great companies again that are making great versions of these more affordable this is a little more rounder you'll see a lot of more pointier happening this season flats are still happening yay good for us i'm really happy that we are more realistic about the way we dress every day Still under the category of the slide-ons, you will see also shoes like these. Really chunky heels. A lot of these see-through details I've seen on the runway a lot and in a lot of stores now. You can wear it with dresses, you can wear it with jeans. Very versatile, definitely more comfortable than a skinnier heel. So these you'll definitely see a lot and I'm sure you've seen already in all the stores carrying this type of style. I got this, unfortunately this is too big for me so I'm gonna return these. I don't think I'm gonna get my size, I just feel like I have enough of this slide on situation definitely comfortable option for anyone that kind of wants to bring a little more height and high heels that they can wear from day to night and then the last but not least trend that you will see that I'm kind of digging is the cowboy boots <laughs> these I don't know what's going on this is a trend that came back hard and I mean I've always been obsessed with the designer Isabel Moran and I feel like there's a lot of kind of cowboyish nuances to her stuff and she's the perfect example of a designer that kind of has that feminine masculine cool nonchalant type of look around it so i saw a lot of this on the runway especially with her so i've like she had me she had me with these these are from mango and um, there's a lot of really cool versions out there but i'm obsessed with pairing these with either a pair of jeans which you can see i wore my outfit of the day or with like really pretty girly dresses i think that there definitely needs to be a balance between how costumey um, you can go with this like not too many accessories uh, kind of low-key this will be kind of the only statement piece in your outfit suede which looks awesome and gonna look great for spring there's just something about them and it gives you like a certain type of confidence when you wear them like I feel like I'm the sheriff of the town when I'm wearing my cowboy boots I only wore them once but I mean there's some really crazy stuff going on with the shoes. I saw a lot of feathers, a lot of neons. I didn't want to show those to you because I just don't, I think they're too trendy. Something that you really realistically wear only for a very short amount of time. So I just wanted to cover some that I feel like have a more of an extended lifespan. But let me know what you guys are seeing, what trends you're obsessed about. Are you into the cowboy boots? Are you into the kitten heels? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.